Hi, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to tie a Hydropsyche caddis larva. Um, I've got a scud hook in the vise. I've got some thread started here. This is spider web, fine thread. You could weight this fly with lead wire if you'd like, or hide a tungsten bead in the thorax, but I'm just going to do it without lead today. We'll start by tying in a piece of phyla plume. at the back of the hook. This pattern, by the way, owes a lot to Oliver Edwards. Does a lot of this style of pattern. But these work really well here on Rapid Creek. I'm going to trim that phyla plume off so we get the little tail. Gill tail that the hydropsyches have. And we'll take a piece of thin skin. All of thin skin. Tie that down across the length of the abdomen. Now we'll take some monofilament, roughly equal to about 5x. Tip it. We'll tie that in for our ribbing. Take some tan ostrich hurdle now. We'll make some gills with this. <clears throat> we'll tie in the tan ostrich at the back of the hook here. Okay. Now we'll take some caddis green nature spirit dubbing. Add that on. Start dubbing toward the eye of the hook. Get just kind of a nice solid body on there. Okay, and now I'm going to stop about two thirds of the way to the eye and just spiral this ostrich curl through. Put on about four or five wraps. Tie that off. Trim off the excess. I'll dub in just a little more of that. Caddis green dubbing. Next we'll take some golden pheasant. We'll make some cool little legs here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pluck these off. And what you get when you pluck them off the stem like that are some cool little legs. And we'll use that little part where it's torn off of the stem to imitate a leg. I mean, best way to do this is to turn the vise upside down if you can. And I'm, since I'm using such fine thread, I'm just going to tie one of these in and not worry about the thread showing up. You can see the legs stick up there. I'll tie it one in on one side. Tie in another on the far side. Maybe add an extra wrap just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and then we can trim out our excess. We'll sneak forward. I'm just gonna do two legs on this one. You could do three sets of legs. I'll just do two sets in the interest of time. They probably work just as well with two sets as they do with with three. Pull 
pull that one a little bit shorter. Go ahead and put in one on the other side. I'm just kind of letting that thread sink down into the dubbing there. Try to make sure those are relatively even in length. And I'll sneak up in front of those. To, we'll trim out our excess here. Careful not to actually trim out the, the leg you just tied in. But now we've got some cool realistic legs. Okay, now we'll take and just fold down some of that Oster Trill on the top of the hook. We'll pull our thin skin over the back and tie that down. Try not to trap your legs down. Make sure the legs are still in place. And trim out our excess thin skin. Okay, our legs are still there. Now we'll take the monofilament ribbing. Sneak that through. Rib that thorax well, or excuse me, abdomen. And then as you get up to your legs, this is a bit tricky, you don't want to trap those legs down with your ribbing either. You're going to rib right through those. Rib on that side, and then I'll sneak in between them. Maybe sneak in one more little segment in front of this front pair. And then we get to the front. We'll tie off that monofilament. Make sure you tie that off well. You don't want that ribbing coming undone at this point. Now we can trim off our excess. Now we'll just take and finish the fly with some half hitches. And then to finish this fly and make it look really good, you want to cover that back area with some black Sharpie. Give the fly a little color there on the back of the thorax. And there you have a very realistic Hydropsyche caddis larva that works really well here on Rapid Creek in town or any freestone stream where you've got lots of hydropsyches. That, uh, like I said, pattern owes a lot to Oliver Edwards who ties very awesome realistic caddis larva patterns and he showed me a lot of these techniques uh, very similar to his hydropsyche pattern. But tie some of these up. If you got an area where you got lots of lots of caddis larva, they won't be able to resist this one. It's a good lead fly to fish in those areas and it's a good idea to weight this fly. I didn't because I was lazy and didn't dig out my lead wire but there you go. A hydropsyche caddis larva with some cool tricks. Tie some up. Again, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter in Rapid City, South Dakota. And you can give us a call if you need any materials or any uh, or have any questions about the flies. 605-341-2450. Thought I'd sneak in and just show a little close-up of that fly. I can see those legs a little better and the whole fly just a little bit better. You'll have a lot of fun with that legging technique. It's cool to see what amount of realism that adds to the flies in your vise.